Green your webs, it's Jackie Key, and welcome for another edition of Pokemon XG Next Gen. Last time, we went to Phoenix City to warn people, but it turns out we were too late. There's a lot of pretenders in this office doing their doing their pretending thing and posing as people that aren't actually our Pokemon. Including, like, Jesse also invented a cloning machine and multiplied himself to six people. He's kind of a jerk, because we talked to him on the clones and he didn't even help us. Just ran off. Yeah, we did try to warn the mayor, but it's too late, it's already gone, so we gotta find Justy. Maybe this Justy will be a more kind member. I bet he's the third latest clone. Impersonating Justy. Oh my god, he was a pretender too! He was an impersonator posing as a Justy and not a clone this entire time. And he never evolved any of his Pokemon. Who's willing to bet that they're, they're high enough level to be evolved? Ah well. It'd be kind of cool if I actually could find more Pokemon to combo up with the Sunny Day and all that, but it is what it is, I suppose. At least this will be a much quicker battle than the last one, because I'm not trying to send a Steel type up against Fire types. Also, the, these fights are completely optional, but I'm tempted to do them anyway for the money, and. I don't even think you need to do them for the battle CDs. I think if you just progress the plot like normal, the, all the battle CDs will just drop off where they are in the first place. But 2,000 Poke Coins, yen, whatever you want to call the currency, seems like pretty good money. So I'm not sure if I really even have anything to talk about while going through these fights, but. The temptation is still there. I was gonna say it gives us a chance to play around with our new Shadow Pokemon, but we missed one of them. We'll have to find a way to pick pick up that Magmar that got away from us at another time, I suppose. Yeah, I feel like there's jokes I could make, but then I just feel like I be a hypocrite making fun of myself or something. Hi there, are you a visitor? So you're traveling. Didn't notice anything a little wonky with the Willy Wonkas posing as justly coming out of the door there? That's kind of suspicious. Speaking of which, hey dude, didn't you notice the guy just magically turning into some sort of chemical organ dinosaur there? Oh, hey. He was a poser too. God, I can't be running out of those cinnamons for imposters this early on. We may or may not have an entire city for me to drive that joke to the ground with. Alright. If I don't one-shot everyone in this fight, then I don't know what will. Also, props for keeping the continuity of him having a Absol up, having an Absol in the overworld, and then actually using it in battle. That was the thing in the XD, but with the way this mod has been changing all these random various things, I wouldn't put it past the game. I wouldn't put it past the monitors to just ignore the fact they had apps all together just to make for a slightly harder battle or something. See, it's worth doing these tedious tasks. It's a lot of animations for nothing. But we are getting good money out of it and good experience. Good experience on Pokemon that I will probably never use after this place again. Ah well. I mean, Torkoal could be a good filler Pokemon if we really need a fire type. It's not like I have a Magmar to <laughs> use as a fire type.
This town will follow the cipher one day. One day? I don't know. You seem to have a pretty good handle on everything as is. I don't know why my voice is just... I wouldn't even say cracking. It's just dying out in the middle of <laughs> the words that I'm saying. You know what? I want to mess around with Taylor Swift some more. We just listened to a nice Taylor Swift album. There's six of us. Just leads our this is purple. Our PO six fold two. We are not just bit players. That does not seem like vanilla tech. Something tells me I didn't pick the greatest fight to bring out. I didn't pick the greatest fight to just ground spam the entire time. But let's see if we can make this work. These grass types are fantastic fodder for Talon Swift at the very least. And we can finally make use of that wide lens that we got. See if it's actually worth keeping Air Cutter, or if I should just switch to, switch to Aerial Ace. Because we did pick up that TM not too long ago, and that is an option I have not completely removed from my mind yet. Alright, Taylor Swift, it's all up to you. Fantastic. Wait, you're telling me you actually decided to attack the flying type of a grass type? I know Taylor Swift doesn't have the greatest track record when it comes to surviving things, but come on! Give my swallow a break. You kinda deserve being one shot because of that dumb play. You haven't seen anything of our brotherly love yet. That's fine, I'm not really in the mood for love. That feels weird to say out of context. Ma'am, the mirror's house is right over there. Now that you mentioned I haven't seen him around lately. Has he gone away on vacation? Oh! Plot twist, you're not the imposter. I'm sorry, lad, shop's closed today. I don't know, that sounds kind of sluss. Yeah, I could really use some supplies, you know, to help me take down Cypher. Exactly, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'll show you get something if you can beat me. Alrighty, Cliff. If you want to play Gatekeeper, be my guest. We don't take too kindly to Gatekeepers around these houses. Oh hey, dual Pokemon. Maybe because it's a hard mod, they'll, they'll actually be competent or something. And I think Bug resists this ground, but you know what? Bulldoze has a secondary effect that Talon Swift is not affected by, so we might still be able to get use out of- Whoop, well, nope, nope, never mind! <laughs> I guess we're not getting use out of Bulldoze on these Bug types today. That's fine. <laughs> I am unstoppable. I have the most feared move in all competitive battles. See me air cut and weep as I spam flinches for days and days to come. With my ability that always makes me attack first. So no matter how fast you are, I shall be faster. There is no escape from the monstrosity that is my air cutting spam. 95% accuracy? Ha! <laughs> More like 99%. Yeah, maybe even a max revive or two for good measure. Hey, dude, you had an imposter standing out inside your shop. Don't wonder we weren't getting customers. Fine, Danny, times like these. The things we sell really come in handy. What you got? Oh my god, we can finally buy Ultra Balls. I forget this, if this mod added the thing where if you buy 10 
of a Pokeball besides Great Ball if you still get the Premier Ball or not. No, it did not. That's fine, it'd probably just be wasted on stingy Larvitars anyways. We got f They still have full heals, but we got five of them already. I kinda wanna see how far it goes. And before I forget, before I get drowned out by the Among Us noises, I believe I have something for you. Oh, that's right, there's no customers because the imposters were driving them out. Right, kind of forgot about that. I'm just so used to this place to actually having NPCs in it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I must know it all. So quiet in here. And you just sell vitamins. I mean, I say just sell. Also, I gotta be a little more sensitive with my money because we got a great place that we could buy some awesome TMs. And I forgot to get one on my way out. Well, all the more reasons to snuff out any imposters in town. No, I'm not gonna stop saying that. I could use some more ways to actually pad out the joke with cinnamons. I was asked the comments for it, but I'll probably be done with all that by the time you get by the time I get the video out. Maybe it'd be a fun thing to add some alternate takes on impossible jokes. Well, okay, that was kind of forced and pulse editing. But would I really want to make so much work for myself? Ah, uh, of course. I want to go. For the boltils on the quillfish, but the pillar would be completely immune. Whatever shall I do? I wonder if it is a thing where, like, if something's accurate enough and you have the wide lens, if it just makes perfect accuracy, or if a slightly inaccurate move will always have a chance to do. will only go up to 99%. I forget which. Not sure if it really even matters, though. Well, that sucks. I didn't even get a chance to bulldoze. Then again, I just realized I was fighting against two water types, so I'm not sure what I expected. But what else would I have for the quillfish? Oh, and that stinks. Like, I could have just brought Congener out here and discharge everything, but... Not really an option right now. I mean, if I roost, you know, I, I think I still am weak to... I'll try it, but I think I'm still weak. I think when I've done this in the before and was extremely disappointed that I still kept my flying type. Besides, Tails has been having a pretty good time so far. He could use a little bit of a humbling. Yeah... Oh, ouch. I know I was weak to it, but... Uh, yikes. That still hurt pretty bad. It's fine. Tailflip just needs a little reminder of his beginnings. It's, we'll just heal off next turn and pretend like nothing ever happened. You know, I just realized I could ruin his rainy day. That's fun. Like, I was already winning, now I'm just rubbing salt into the wounds. Speaking of which, oh, I don't have Protect on this Torkoal. There's only one Pokemon on the field, it might be more efficient to go for a Shockwave anyways. Actually, why am I fighting this Pion again? Like, who was he upholding on? I forgot already. Oh, that dude. You know what? I was gonna... You're right here. I might as well. Yeah, I am just Lee. I am the toughest of tough and the most popular guy of Ferric besides. In other words, I look just like Just Lee, even without putting on disguise. Sure you do. Look at me. I look cool, just like Jesse, eh? Come on, I'll take you on. I don't know. Your face is a little bit prettier with the 
skies on. Somehow both... Oh my god, for some reason it really rubs the point home here that Polly Pollywag's mouth is a mouth and not his nose. God, I spent my entire childhood sticking down his nose. It, it's still uncanny to actually look at as a mouth. Like, it has big lips and everything, and I don't like it anymore. I don't know, it just feels like especially cursed in this model. Good thing we can just get rid of it right away. It's, it's sad. I usually think Polly Wake is cute. Not today, apparently. Nice air. Dream Punch. God. I'd love to have it, but I don't know. Well, I mean, it is stronger than Force Palm. So even though it's a little bit of a shame that I wasted the. that I spent the points in the Move Tutor to. learn in the first place. This is just objectively better. And I always. I'm always a fan of healing style moves, so I was kind of missing Leech Seed anyways. Now, if only they implemented that I don't- I- of, they gotta have the energy root. Or the something root. They implement Evil Light in this mod. Surely, because you can probably have some fun with Drain Punch and maybe like get Mega Drain on this Bloom and keep Spore and just be in for a good old hunkin' dory time. Yeah, we've had a lot of fun with this Mala. Help, Pokemon are chasing after me. Huh? You'll help? Thanks, but you should worry about yourself first. I knew it. I knew Cast Form Boy would not ban good old Cast Form. Cast Form is just too wonderful of a Pokemon to actually toss aside. Alright. Let's take this fool down the street. Would it be overkill? It would be overkill. I'm gonna go for it anyways. I think Coffee is more of a physical wall than a special wall anyways. So, let's give this a try. I think I just want to use Shell Smash before I inevitably... ...stop using the Torkoal. This, this is like a fun move that I never actually get to use in a main playthrough of... Oh, come on! Well, so much for need to raise my power to... ...overwhelm his defenses. It's just gonna get rid of itself for me. No, oh, poor, poor coughing. It used freaking explosion and barely did anything. I kind of wonder if this is working off of. I'm gonna just convince myself here. Ex of course, explosion is working off modern game mechanics. No wonder it was so freaking weak. The whole cutting defense in half before doing the freaking move thing. Nope, nada. A little bit of a shame because I would have loved. It. If I had a Pokemon with Explosion, I would love to go boom and just see the world fall apart, and just hate- Oh! These Pokemon must have the ability Sturdy. Maybe that's what happened with the wild Pokemon I caught earlier, but... Not really sure. I want Swimmer B to get in on this action. There's been so much going around town. They're falling a bit behind. Not getting a chance to have some fun with everything going on. Plus, we got this shiny new waterfall TM that I've been waiting to give it. Uh, it means getting rid of Aqua Jet, but priority isn't as big of a deal anymore. Might as well get the stab of a much more powerful water move. After all, we have Talon Swift for if we're really desperate for priority. Oh no, v Viper has infiltrated the city? <laughs> My cover's blown already. Already? You should have just stayed happily entertained at the Red Gum Tower. Well, considering the Sim station was closed and I was stuck doing battle bingo, not exactly the most entertaining possible. 
And Kula picked a great fight to bring in my water type. I guess it's not too bad. Assuming the suit will doesn't have story, we can just still knock it out in one hit. Well, good news, uh, Electrobuzz just wasted his turn going for agility, even though it already outsped everything. I don't think we gotta worry about it. Would be cool to actually be able to <laughs> outspeed it with Aqua Jet, but you get you give and you take. Question is though, will this be enough? Oh duh, it's a rock type. I went for it because I was under the mindset of Well, this move is perfectly accurate. I can finish it off. I should have just gone for the waterfall. It's fine, we're not gonna not like there's really any major consequence to our actions or something. What am I doing? I think even Metal Claw would be more accurate. It's hard to remember all these accurate moves and which ones are perfectly accurate and which ones are just freaking 95 off the top of your head. It's like the one Pokemon. It's like the one Pokemon that actually want to have it. Or want to have 95 accurate moves now, only has the one. Well, we roughed up everyone else up to this point. Are you fake? How rude of you. How could I be fake as handsome? How could there be anyone fake as handsome? Why can't I say handsome? So you really were just a <laughs> rough. You really did just grow up in the town of Roughnecks and Fees. I should fight you as well, but I really don't want to. Just really want to go back and heal. But you've all dropped at least a thousand coins each. I might as well take your lunch money too, Zoe. Decide it is, or go heal and then walk all the way back here for one single fight. And my laziness is getting the best of me. Man, it feels good to have a strong water attack. Like, Aqua Jet was fun. But I'm real happy that I can, like, not only, they not only have Waterfall, but I have huge power to just really take advantage of it all. Zap Zipper did come in handy every now and then, but... I think this is the this is the ability that makes a zoom world king or queen. So I don't it only feels right and back at home to actually have a move like that at my disposal. Now I'm trying to remember here what this is. Like it's there's fighting. I guess steel works too. For some reason I just thinking like maybe grass resists steel. Nah, that might have actually made Grass a good type. It's definitely one of those signs that it'd be nice to have off of that. Man... You know what? Since that, since beginning this project, since beginning this playthrough and talking about things from modern gens that I really would love to see in this mod... Something that's finally being implemented in modern games that I really miss already... The ability to just go into your Pokemon menu screen and swap the moves on the fly. Like, it doesn't really matter as much. Like, I still miss unlimited TMs. But it was a nice conversation that you could just teach a TM, overwrite it with a different move later, then just go back into your Pokemon menu screen and relearn the TM move without wasting a second TM on it. And just to be able to have access to all my moves at once, so like, if there's one battle that I really feel like Priority matters a little bit more than power. I could just swap Waterfall and Aqua Jet with each other. And just have whichever one I feel is more fitting in the moment. That would be a really cool feature to see in a Pokemon mod. Just bringing that... Bringing that whole thing back. Alright. Is there any other sussy baka fools to wipe off the face of the planet before doing the obvious thing that I should have been doing... Ages ago. Hello, little youngster. The stadium above head is no longer in use. Ever since Regan Power Tower went up, all bells have been held there. Oh, you're real and you're roadblock? Hmm. 
I was instantly suspicious about that, but he's proving not to be an imposter. I swear, I will let this joke die once we actually get out of town. I gotta milk it for all it's worth while we he still can. <laughs> 